So in today's video, I'm actually gonna give you a best class setup for the ICR-7 that I've been playing around with that is a little bit different than some of the best class setups I put out for the ICR. I'm also gonna show off the Spinal Trap Reactive Camo that was just introduced to the game at tier 30 as part of the brand new Contraband stream within the second half of Operation Apocalypse Z. Also gonna reiterate how to get easy lobbies and then I'll jump into a gameplay breakdown so you know how to use this class setup, especially since it's a little bit more active than my typical ICR-7 class setup. So if you do enjoy the video, or find it helpful in any way please remember to hit the like button i do have a like goal for this video of a thousand likes so let's see if we can go ahead and hit that number and if you're interested in finding your way back to the channel make sure you hit the red subscribe button with notifications on currently over the past 28 days youtube is telling me that about 64 percent of you have not yet subscribed and to put a number to that that ends up being about 190,000 people who watch my videos on a regular basis who haven't yet subscribed so if you can do me that favor i would definitely appreciate that so the class setup i'm running in this video is reflex site f MJ grip quick draw with the comsec device black jacket dexterity and dead silence so I know I've gone ahead and made this best class setup with double grip and quick draw, double grip and FMJ, but I don't think I've ever done this particular combination before, or at least I can't remember doing it, but I actually had a lot of fun with this class setup because it takes care of one of the issues, which is being able to wall bang, taking care of body armor users, while still being able to rush around the map because you're going to have a faster aim down sight while maintaining that accuracy because the ICR doesn't really have that much recoil, so grip two isn't 100% necessary. Let's go ahead and talk about easier lobbies. The first step is obviously you gotta be a decent player, but then your strategy has to be right with the streaks. You can see right now I'm running a UAV, a Thresher, and a Strike Team. And a lot of times if you're going up against Sweat, if you get a Thresher and a Strike Team, more often than not, those players will leave. Right now we were losing the match and you're gonna see that certain people will just automatically leave the match and the main reason I chose this specific gameplay is because when the players leave, it doesn't even make sense. What you're going to see right here is we're actually losing the match, even though I got my streaks in. My strike team is still trying to land. So I'm about to run into one of the best two players in the lobby. Right here, I end up taking this guy out, and he's the one that ends up leaving the match. You can see his 24-7 clan tag, and then I end up taking out this guy. He has the same 24-7 clan tag. So the first step of actually taking over the lobby is complete. One of the best players in the lobby on the enemy team left the match. So the combination of getting a full set of streaks and knowing that the best player on the enemy team left allows me to go ahead and change gears and play a little bit more aggressive, taking engagements I probably wouldn't otherwise take because I know I have a better shot than pretty much anyone else left. So we'll go ahead and skip to the end so you can kind of see the end result end up being 100 to 64. So while they were only able to get 20 more points, my team was able to get 60. Obviously, this isn't the easiest thing to do. Even if you're going up against a decent player, you still gotta be able to get those streaks, which is typically the hard part. So here's the first match of me using the Spinal Trap Reactive Camo. Obviously, I have to unwrap it. Takes nine kills in a single match, and then it changes its reaction for one, two, and three additional kills. So right now, I'm just trying to fill out the match. A lot of times in the beginning, you kinda gotta see what your opponents are doing. I did not expect so many of them to be there, especially since that spawn was still ours. Our teammate was running up. They kinda just ran through mid. Right here, since I spawned out, there's probably enemies in the back of the spawn where you can see my teammates are fighting. And a lot of that information you can kind of put together and figure out how you can utilize it to your advantage. So luckily my teammate was able to help me out with that first guy and then I'm able to take out this guy at that pretty close quarters engagement. The downside with the ICR, even though it's pretty deadly accurate, is that when you combine its slower rate of fire with its five shot kill potential, you end up with a timed kill of 400 milliseconds. So I've already had a couple rough deaths and that's because I'm trying to play just a little bit faster. Like I've talked about in my previous video, Video. you typically like to work on your KD then your score per minute then your KD then your score per minute and right now I'm just trying to play a little bit more aggressive because I feel like my gun skill is good enough to win a lot of these engagements but unfortunately if you read the mini map incorrectly even for a millisecond you can definitely put yourself into a bad spot right here I end up getting nine bang luckily my hip fire lands right here as my teammate shoots the guy as well and I'm able to get that kill as well as the tag Right here, it's still a close game at 15 to 13. What we gotta do is try and push up a little bit. But as I decide to push up with my teammate, I'm the only one that ends up getting shot in the back with all those different people there. It was just kind of a little bit of bad caught timing. The main reason I decided to include all these deaths is because I wanted to show you the match from beginning to end and show you how quickly the momentum can shift as soon as you get your streaks. You can position yourself the right way and start playing a little bit smarter. I don't know what's going on with this smoke. I don't really want to put myself in a line of sight where someone can shoot me. They do have the radar shroud up, so that's kind of ruining a little bit of the view there. Then I end up seeing a couple guys here. I got to get out of there because there's way too many. I'm just kind of pre-firing as I come around and decide to go for a different angle. 
Obviously, I don't have a ton of information because of that radar shroud, but I do know that there are a ton of enemies in this area. Once the radar shroud's gone, decide to go ahead and take this guy out. I go ahead and push a little bit closer to my teammates, decide to go upstairs since I see a couple there, call my TAC-5 boost, and I'm just trying to see what's going on. You can see a death skull on the left, so there's going to be an enemy over there. I go ahead and land a couple shots, and then I kind of back off a little bit. This guy does have a ballistic knife. So when you play matches, sometimes you got to deal with the annoying stuff as well. So I'm going to include that, whether it's the crossbow, the stingray operator mod, whatever it is, we got to go ahead and kind of play dealing with those types of things. I go ahead and pre-fired a lot there and then I'm getting one hit with the ballistic knife. And the unfortunate thing about the ballistic knives is that they were ever added to the game. They can never be properly balanced when you take into account that my ICR takes five bullets to kill and literally somebody has to hit me once. But there's not much you can do. They add it to the game so it is what it is. So I've unveiled the reactive camo so it starts off as yellow and then for each additional kill it will change colors. And I actually like this camo quite a bit primarily that everyone has access to it if you reach tier 30. So right here I jump around the corner, snap on to this guy and take him out you can see a couple teammates are in the area so i still feel like these are our spawns i'm not a huge fan of jumping over barricades because it really leaves you at a significant disadvantage so apparently we had flip spawns i get hit with the nine bang and because of stupid hand animation i'm not even able to see the guy running at me not that it would have really mattered i would have had to hit him five times while hip firing which was pretty unlikely right here you can see the camo has changed the blue going to try and chase this kill with my teammate my teammate ends up cleaning him up so as you can see i'm going around this left side to try and get a flank the score is still fairly close and even though i've had a very slow start i'm still going to get over 40 more kills so a lot of times the gameplay is really about momentum and momentum shifts while using streaks unfortunately as you become a better player you're going to be expected to do even more to carry your team and very often to the point where teammates actually die faster than you could possibly get kills I'm going ahead and running into the spawn, trying to stop the guy from getting attacked. I go ahead and take out the next guy, try to hit me with the launcher. And I know this guy is going to try and chase me down. So I'm just trying to play the position, see how he's going to actually engage with me. I go ahead and jump there. Saw where he's coming from, able to free aim, take him out. And then right here, you're going to see that the spawns flip. Teammate spawned on me, grabbed a few more tags. Only 250 score off my first set of streaks. I go ahead and grab this tag, and then I'm going to start working my way around this left side. See my teammates a little bit AFK, pre-aiming a little bit. And you're going to see he ends up putting the razor wire right here, which kind of blocks that area a little bit. And then I can see the teammates going up the stairs. And it looks like there could be a lot of enemies in this area. I'm pre-aiming the area where they're going to be. The guy jumps out. I'm able to track him and then take him out. I pre-aim the doorway as I come up to see if anyone's going to run through. And it doesn't look like the case. So I decide to back up a little bit, see if I can reposition, throw down some ammo. So as my teammates run up, they'll be able to grab it. I go ahead and wait up a quick second. I have my sniper's nest and I only need 50 score for my thresher, which will chain to my strike team and allow me to just kind of steamroll the lobby. And this guy ends up slipping under my gun and my teammates are kind of looking in that direction as the guy runs around and just takes me out. And unfortunately I get killed, but that's pretty much irrelevant. I got my full set of streaks, which is basically a game changer. Now I can kind of start to sprint around the map. I get a couple extra teammates in the form of a strike team. And then I can kind of just start picking up the scraps and my streaks leave behind. I'm going and pushing in through the spawn, expecting enemies to be right here to the left. I can see where three of them are at as the UAV passes. I take out this first one, I push the spawn. I can see they're trying to shoot down my streak. I'm able to take out both of them with the combination of my gunfire and my sniper's nest. You can see my teammates are going ahead and taking my tags. Unfortunately, they're racing me to those tags. So now I know the spawns have flipped because we're pretty deep in the spawn. I see an enemy using the heat wave, kind of avoid that. And then I'm working my way to the other side of the map by closing that distance. And it looks like a UAV just comes in a hair too late i wasn't able to react quick enough by the time they actually popped up on the mini map and i'm getting killed there that is the last death of the match but i still continue to go on a streak at this point you see i'm pushing back to the other side of the map it looks like they've gone ahead and shrouded the area i was kind of looking for it i didn't really see it right away but i decided to push through since it's not really an issue my strike team is deep within the enemy spawn they throw another radar shroud so i'm going to use my strike team's location to kind of better position myself you can see they took out one strike team member i took out that next one I go ahead and get to cover real quick heal up and then i start to push a little bit and spawn knowing that pushing through will actually start to flip it i pick up that extra score Stack 5 boosted, only 220 off my next set of streaks. Pushing around this left side, I can see a couple of them are somewhere in this area. I can't always tell if they're up top or down low. I mantle up using the barrel, trying to see if I can see anyone. It looks like a majority of the enemy players are down low. I end up spotting this guy on the right, take him out, grab the tag, and I'm expecting multiple enemies to be coming around because I can see what's going on in the minimap. Looks like there's one guy down low. And right now, since all my teammates are in the middle of the map, we kind of have a split spawn. So enemies could be coming from either side of the map. I'm pre-aiming this area, seeing if anyone's going to come through. Then I see the guys down low. I decide to jump out, see if I can take them out. 
and I'm getting a different angle on him. And then I'm able to get my strike team, threshers, and sniper's nest all over again. So if you've been noticing, the camo has been cycling with each kill. Right now it's on that pinkish purple one. So it operates a lot like that plasma drive camo that we got a couple seasons ago. So pretty much I'm pushing through, trying to take the aggressive play. I know the guy is going to be in the corner. My teammate ends up cleaning that guy up. But before you click away, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And I imagine if you made it to this point in the video, you should probably be subscribed. I do appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day.